everyone, welcome back to the First Mariner Arena in Shogun Fight 6. Here we are with the last fight of the evening. Let's take it to my partner, Nick Ehrlich, to see who the competitors are. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 foot 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 135 pounds. Representing the Evolve Academy from Gaithersburg, Maryland, make some noise for Marshall, the unknown warrior, Thompson. This is a fight that everybody in the local MMA scene has been buzzing about. It's one I've been looking forward to. Uh, these guys really don't like each other, and they're both very skilled, and they're getting right to it. This is a fight that I saw on the card. I was immediately excited uh, to see these two guys get to do it. Yeah, a lot of people were hitting me up asking about this, and uh, you know we're excited. You know, and obviously we were excited to put it together. Wow, already trading a lot of punches and kicks here. These guys are going out. Both of these guys are, are solid 35 pounders. Marshall's very big. Uh, fans of Shogun fights know that Marshall's already 2-0 uh, inside the Shogun cage, looking to make it 3-0. Uh, Amir, very experienced fighter, uh, extensive amateur background, sure. very well-rounded. Um, this fight is going to be exciting wherever it goes. Both of these guys uh, are well-versed fighters, and as you see, Marshall's already got a Kimura on Amir. Amir may prove and, uh, to be the stiffest test that Marshall's had here at the Shogun Cage. Uh, these guys are both very big 35-pounders. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Got it out. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Seeing solid skills on both sides. Absolutely. Right now. You know, Amir tucks it out, working his way back to guard. Marshall on top now. Marshall goes here in space here, guard wise. He needs to be, to be in or out, but he's kind yeah, of. I was getting ready to say, Amir better watch that feet. Another ankle lock. You know, we know that uh, Marshall loves to attack the legs. It's a submission when he has here in the Shogun cage, and Amir apparently not bothered by a, a seemingly pretty deep straight ankle lock. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty. Uh, Relaxed here. My legs are good. Step God. Over. That is a deep submission, man. And the Austin is out. And he's looking for, looked like he was looking for his own leg for a minute. Wow, nice. Wow, a solid chin. Umir takes a knee for Marshall Thompson and smiles at him. Yeah, these guys are both tough, man. And disliking your opponent, it can take you all the way. <laughs> now it seems they're they're at least uh, through that initial period of kind of just scrapping, and now they're they're both sticking it through a little bit more. Some nice leg kicks has changed, but already more methodical than it was in that first thirty to sixty seconds. Yeah, well, when the first two minutes of the fight are just straight nonstop swinging punches, going for submissions, I think when you get out, it's time to reset and hopefully settle into your game plan at this point. It's impossible to keep that pace up for fifteen minutes. Sure, Tom's been doing a good job, uh, kind of countering these kicks and and. Eight and even doing some tie punching, something we've not seen a ton from him before. Yeah, I think Amir is a guy who likes to stand and trade. Um, I know that he enjoys uh, training Muay Thai. So, uh, you know, we're looking at a guy right now who I think wants to get inside and trade blows and, and get into that clinch and, and throw some knees. Well, certainly, these guys are certainly airing it out early. Both guys looking for nice head kicks, looking for big punches. And, uh, you know, again, so far the exciting fight that the fans and, and yours truly was looking forward to. Yeah, this is a, it was, was a tough weight cut for Marshall. So I'm waiting to see, that, that, does it affect his conditioning at all as this fight goes on? Because the pace these guys are keeping isn't an easy one. Sure, you know, making weight is, a, is the first battle, but then recovering from it, if you do a deep cut like Marshall Thompson does. I mean, this is a guy who it looks like right now he's walking around at 160 pounds, who ate 135 last night. Right, nice. Caught the kick and delivered the right hand counter. You know, now he's looking to rain down some shots. 
And surprising that he doesn't want to go to the ground. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. yeah, I was surprised, especially since he's the guy that had the submission attempt in the last exchange there. Sure, and you know, I believe both of Marshall's wins in the Shogun Cage have been by submission, um, at least against Keon Wilkins it was. So he's a, he's a ground-savvy guy. Uh, and Amir Hawk, if he's got an Achilles heel, I think that would probably end up being it. Yeah, he submitted uh, both of his opponents, submitted Dean Ladin as well. Uh, at this point, you know, now Marshall's already showed he's had a Kimura attempt. He's had a straight ankle lock attempt, uh, and right now these guys are just standing up tagging each other, so sure. very fan-friendly fight so far. <laughs> wow, both trade left hooks there. Thompson's already looking a little tired. That mouth is open. Uh, he, his face looks a, a, a little beat. Uh, I, I really hope this isn't something that comes in the later rounds, you know? Yeah, he's taking a lot of shots, so, you know, is it is it the weight cut? Is it conditioning? Is, uh, is a nose maybe broken from being punched in it? So, you know, these are all things that can happen in the heat of battle. Sure, and Hawk catching a nice kick there and getting a takedown of his own and doing uh, what really I thought we'd see Thompson doing, getting a takedown, locking down, getting some heavy hips, and either looking to pass or distributing some ground and pound. Here's Marshall. He's looking for a submission again. Uh, you know, I've really got to give Marshall his props. The guy, you know, when he's on the ground, he's looking to finish. When he's standing up, he's, he's trading blows. Ten seconds left here. If I'm both of these guys, I'm chilling and waiting for the next round. Sure. There's no reason to think that the next two rounds aren't going to be as, as tough as this one. And, uh, you know, this round uh, it could end up being kind of a toss-up. Yeah, it's tough. I would maybe give a close round to Marshall. Um, you know, I, and the main reason being he was just the guy that went for the majority of the submissions. You know, here's a guy right here, caught the kick and knocked him down. So, uh, you know, I might have to give him a slight edge in a close first round. Catching a nice yeah, kick there, yeah. a little dump of his own. Returning the favor. <laughs> you know, and I'll tell you what, he did end that round on top. Guys like Sugar Ray Leonard love talking about that last 10 to 15 seconds being where you put your stamp on a round. Yeah, it's Marvin Hagler. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think this poor uh, Marvin's, Marvin, Marshall's over here throwing up in the uh, corner. So... Now we're really going to see how this affects him. You know, a weight cut's going to dehydrate you as it is. Sure. Uh, you know, he's over here right now, threw up in his corner. So uh, hopefully uh, this doesn't affect him further in the fight. We well, you know throwing up work for Willie Beeman. We'll see if it has a similar effect on Marshall Thompson. And uh, hopefully this won't take him out of this fight. You know, you see guys nowadays, um, as even guys like Thiago Alves and and, uh, and George St. Pierre cutting huge amounts of weight. And the only way uh, that, that you can be successful is if you do it and then rehydrate scientifically. And a lot of guys are even in favor of having day of weigh-ins to, to prevent guys from cutting 15 and 20 pounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm in favor of the, the day before weigh-in. Wow. You know, mainly because these guys are still going to cut that weight anyway. Yeah, they're going to cut it whether they, you know, whether we like it or not. Nice. They got a lot of action going on here. The mirror's already back to throwing a crazy spinning back fist attempt, almost hit him. <laughs> you know, I mean, Marshall's just content to slug it out. Wow, another you know, nice another back one. fist. You know, he, uh, he, he's a teammate of Brent Hess uh, from Makido, and you wonder if there's something in the water over there that just makes you stand up that exciting. Yeah, well, you heard uh, Mr. Hess in the corner. It's actually Brent's father is their trainer, and he told him, you know, he's over there throwing up, push the pace and, and get on him, you know, which would be smart, you know, if you're, sure. you think your opponent's weaker. You know, if I'm a mirror, I need to push the pace. I need to test this guy. Uh, I would be looking to kick him to the body, hit him to the body, uh, you know, see, you know, obviously the stomach's not feeling well, so try to use it to your advantage. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Forrest Griffin wrote his first book. If you thought that scene in the Karate Kid where he kicked his hurt knee was bad, then you shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, if your opponent's is... hurt, go right to it. And uh, Hawk seemingly taking a break from that. I, I, I don't really understand why he's not doing exactly what you're saying, John. Pushing him, kneeing him, kicking him in the stomach, and uh, and getting his already rumbly tumbly, uh, you know, feel a little worse. Yeah, the pace has slowed a little bit here. He's going to the legs a lot. I'm, I'm noticing a lot more kicks. Uh, you know, he's been affected with the, uh, the, the tie kick. Uh, you know, he's been effective with his hands, but uh, I, I, he's not being busy enough. You know, you need to, uh, he needs to push the pace and he needs to uh, make Marshall pay. You know, he's, he's given Marshall a chance to recover. And, uh, 
you know, Marshall is, is not a slouch striking either. So, nope. you know, I don't know that Amir is really the guy who's winning these exchanges. You know, and, and when they get into those trading jabs and trading right hands, Marshall does seem to be landing the stiffer yeah, punches. I, I was getting ready to say the same thing. He de definitely landing the stiffer strikes here, too. You know, another, again, another Mike Moses, another Evolve Academy guy. Uh, these guys really are running a factory down there of very good, very talented, all-around fighters. Oh, and he catches one south of the border. Yeah, yeah. Got that time. Going to give him a little time to recover. If your stomach felt sour, this is going to make it feel worse. <laughs> That but, is just no good. But, uh, yeah, Mike Mike Moses, good guy. Uh, I met Mike you know, when I first started training jiu-jitsu, so as a white belt is what I met, uh, when I met Mike. And, uh, I mean, he's doing big things down there. He's an he's a excellent Muay Thai guy, an excellent jiu-jitsu guy. Uh, he puts out good students. And, uh, you know, he's got his, uh, besides the students, they got a soldier fit army down there. These guys came army. to the show. I mean, like four or 500 people strong up here supporting their fighters. So, uh, you know, we need to give a shout out to them and, and thank them for their support for of, sure. of their fighters and Shogun fights. For sure. Just, I mean, just a great group of guys. Like you said, Marshall Thompson, J.C. Cuppy, Zach Davis, Jason Morris. Uh, you know, yeah. Shogun's seen a lot of really great involvement. Now, people are booing Marshall Thompson here. And, yeah, uh, that's I, ridiculous. I, you know, I, I never understand booing during a fight. These guys are in here. They're fighting their hearts. And in and, and, and Marshall Thompson's case, literally his guts out. Uh, you know, and, and booing is one of those things that I, I just don't understand. These guys are working hard. Yeah, well, I mean, what are you doing? The man just got kicked into Johnson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So give him an opportunity to catch his breath. Exactly. You think at least the men would be sympathetic. Nice. And these guys go right back to slugging, man. This, this is an exciting fight. And uh, these guys are throwing down, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm impressed. Nice hook by Amir, but Marshall, big kick and a nice one-two combination. Absolutely. Marshall, uh, you know, looks looks like he may have completely recovered. He's closed his mouth again. His face doesn't look uh, as upset as it was in the first round, but, you know, maybe uh, just the boot and rally in between rounds is uh, what did it for him. Yeah, he, he seems to, to really be content now to stand, too. I don't see any takedown attempts. Uh, he hasn't really made any attempt to catch the kicks, which is what he did in the first round. Uh, he's just landing stiff shots to the face, and uh, Amir's shots don't seem to be affecting him. So, uh, you know, he's standing up here and, and, and looking for the home run shot. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, this is, oh, wow, Amir catches him. Bottom with a little uh, right hand there, right but, hook. But this is where we're seeing some of uh, the experience of Marshall Thompson paying off. Amir looks like he's a little concerned. He's pushing the pace a little too much. And Thompson's, you know, like you said, not looking to take it to the ground. He's relaxing. He's hanging back. He knows that Umir's going to bring the fight to him, and that there's nothing to suggest that he's going to stop catching him at the rate that he is. Yeah, I mean, I agree. You know, again, if I'm Umir, I, I would really be looking to uh, to work that body. Um, it's something sure. I don't think people do enough. You know the guy was hurt, and uh, he should be capitalizing. You know, but what you are seeing now also is uh, Marshall bleeding from his nose. And mouth, I believe. Yeah, you, know, you know, it's going to make it hard for him to breathe. And never a good thing when you're out there trying to fight with, a, you know, with, you know, your nose bleeding. Now, breathing's one of those classically good things. And, uh, you know, these guys are both coming out of their noses a little bit. Thompson certainly, he wow, certainly heavier than hockey. Wonder if that nose is broken. Uh, they've certainly done enough exchanging of hands to have that be the case. But Thompson, even a little bit of a smile here. Hawks rushing in, his head's down, and uh, Thompson is, is, is really a... I'm very impressed with his patience here. Yeah, I mean, this is, again, the toughest guy we've seen in fight, and, and so far handling the challenge very well. But again, these Makido guys can come out with these spinning back fists, and out, again, right there, nice. uh, and crazy kicks. You're never out of danger when you're against one of these guys. They're, they're doing crazy stuff, and it's not stuff you really train. Yeah, pretty unorthodox style. But it's been effective. I mean, you can take a look at Marshall and see that, it, that it's being very effective. And, you know, you make a great nice. wow. Two great nice. kicks by Thompson to end that round. One in the face, one in the body. And, you know, John, you, you make a good point. Unconventional is one thing, but unconventional and effective is another. And that's what Makito guys are. They're unconventional, and they're, and they're absolutely effective with it. They're not just out there throwing crazy stuff and uh, flying scissor takedowns. You know, they know how to land good strikes that people aren't ready for.
Yeah, like I said, you can you know you can take a look at Marshall and see that uh, he's landing these strikes effectively, and uh, no slam to Marshall. I mean, you can take a look at Umir and see that Marshall's landed effectively. And here's a nice, there's two jabs. You know, the right hand missed, but both jabs connected. Here we are back. That was another big knee, big right hand, just Bam. missed. Kick to the face, and here's the kick to the body. Bam. This is, uh, I think it's safe to say that this is the best that Marshall Thompson's stand-up has looked. Uh, you know, I follow him on Facebook and all of his social media. He's put a lot of stuff out about how much he's working on his boxing and his Muay Thai. Uh, and, you know, letting it be known that he's not just a ground fighter. And, uh, again, a stiff test, a tough guy. I don't think this is decisively in either guy's favor after two rounds. You know, I think this one's going to come down to this round. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree, and uh, the other thing Marshall's showing, he's definitely showing some new skills here in the stand-up, but uh, the other thing he's showing me is the chin, uh, sure. because he's been hit plenty and been tested by Amir, and uh, he's staying right in the pocket and slamming. Both of these guys uh, have definitely had a chance to test the other's chin and had theirs tested as well, and they've stood the test until this, wow! Oh, I'm spinning back to this. That was, that, was, that was a great spinning bat back fist. Guys like uh, John, your friend Matt Saracen, yeah. the crowd right know how dangerous those can be. Yeah, Matt was there. Just mentioned the name Shoney Carter, and, and everybody remembers the spinning bat I think fist. he still has a twitch. Yeah, kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Marshall, again, nice and patient here. Um, I, I don't like how Hawk is shelling forward as he's throwing punches. He's leaning forward, his head's going down, and he's opening himself up to these knees and these uppercuts uh, that Thompson's been successful with so far. Wow! Wow! Right hand and a left hook. Marshall Thompson went up and that's it. And that was it. Good stop. He just got caught. His head went back for a second and Big Dan, uh, seeing that he was hurt, stopped it before Marshall Thompson could do any more damage. Big win for Marshall. I was just getting ready to say that it looked like Amir was, was tired. He was starting to uh, leave himself open and next thing you know, straight right hand, left hook and then he went to the ground to finish it. Very, very... Uh, Nice combination and a big win for Marshall. I mean, absolutely the biggest test to date. Here we go. Atlanta remodeling replay, right hand, Bang. left hook. Wow. Beautiful. And he goes in for the kill. You know, Hawk was dropping his hands and going for broke, but the problem with that is sometimes it can leave you broke. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Dan Ruby, got to hold this out at 54 seconds of the third round. Your winner by way of TKO, Marshall, the Unknown Warrior, Thompson. Marshall, a three-round war. You finished in the last round all hard. Thank you, man. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, Marshall, three rounds. Well, guys, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but um, I threw up after the first round, man. I get no sleep the other night. My body's like, first time in 35, so my heart comes from the Lord, man. My heart comes from the Lord. So I want to give thanks first to him. I want to give thanks to um, Shogun Fights for allowing me this place, this place, my abilities, all people who support me, man. I know it was a war, I'm going to be a whole lot better next time, but I don't quit no matter what. That's something about me, man. I'm like Wolverine. I get broke down, keep coming, get broke down, keep coming, I don't stop coming. I adjust to the game plan and get the win. So thank you guys for supporting me. Um, ASP, Evolve, um, everybody who's been behind me, man. Uh, Coach uh, Juan, Juan Punch at Max Muscle, Coach Herb, uh, Robert Martin uh, starting me out, um, Tom Zarita, um, all the guys who helped me out run a stall and tough like me, man. If I forgot somebody, I'm oh, sorry, guys. I'm just a little blow right now. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. After the message, I'll be right back. Marshall, I told you before, if you keep money like this, the unknown warrior is going to be known worldwide very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. The unknown warrior, Marshall Thompson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us here at Shogun Fight 6 from First Mariner Arena. And we'll see you right back here for Shogun Fight 7 on October 20th. Special thanks to Brian Snell, Frank Remish, Atlantic Remodeling, and the Goldfather, your executive producers, John Rollo and Vance Van Horn, your producer, Mike Van Horn, and your director, Rich Wagner. So on behalf of myself, Nick Ehrlich, and the Godfather of MMA, John Rollo, we'll see you next time. Welcome to the big five, blowing up like dynamite, take it to the floor, settle down, another ride, man on a mission.